Hello, hello. We're back in the kitchen. This is our last day in Fly Lady Zone 2, and I'm just noticing a couple more tasks I need to do. One of my spotlights has burned out, so I'm not going to procrastinate about it. I'm just going to get on with it right now, climb up here, and replace this spotlight. And I do have a workman coming this morning to work on my washing machine, so we may get interrupted with me letting him in, but that's fine, we'll just do it. As you can see here, I am dressed to shoes. I've got my lace-ups on. Getting up here, getting these spots out, and probably all of you have spots in your house as well. Getting the spots out can be quite a tricky job which is why we procrastinate about it. There it comes. There it comes. There it comes. So I've got it down now. Sorry, I was just looking at my belt on there. And then you have to take its little fixture off of the used one, put the fixture back on to the new one. And you know, it's, they are a little bit tricky. They're, I use these long life, I use these long life bulbs as well, so I don't really have to change them that often, but you do have to change them occasionally. So just stand it back into the seam mount, and there it is. One anti procrastination job done. And actually, this month, as we've been in zone two, I've had to change two light bulbs. I had a light bulb go out here on the oven extractor fan. One of these went out and one of the spots went out. So I'm actually really glad we were in zone two this week because I was just straight onto it. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still lingering with this terrible cough. Let me just put my timer on so we don't run over. Eight minutes. There we go. So put the box out for recycling. I'll deal with the bulb later. While I've got the step ladder out, I'm going to go ahead and clean the window in here. And it's really a clever idea to tie tasks together that you need to do. So for example, one thing that might make you procrastinate about changing the light bulb is actually having to get the step ladder out. So once you've got the step ladder out, do a few more bits um, so you're not having to drag it in and out of the cupboard again and again. So I'm going to climb up here and clean this window. I've got my glass cleaner. And I have quite a few little trash keys in this windowsill. And I'm not going to take every single one out. I'm just going to move them to the side and move them around as I need to. That's another tip from Fly Lady is, you know, don't remove everything and create a big mess for yourself to have to clean up. Just do the best you can and get on with it. Whoops, this ladder is moving because I'm leaning a little bit far, but here we go. This window, I'm glad I'm getting this cleaned because it really needed a clean. My sink is right in front of this. So and in fact, I'm actually going to stand up on the counter a little bit. You know, I know this house pretty well. I don't encourage you to necessarily do this, but it helps me because I'm quite short. And in fact, I haven't really had to move any of these trash keys. I'm going to do the windowsill along here. And this is how Flylady encourages you to clean stuff. Just pick it up and put it back down. Don't drag everything out and create a big mess for yourself. Just scoot it to the side, clean underneath it, and get it done. And that is that. <coughs> so in less than five minutes, I have, in less than five minutes, I've changed the light bulb cleaned my big window, and now I'm going straight away to put the step ladder away. So it's 
not lingering and causing clutter. To my under the stairs cupboard. I'm actually just putting away my cleaner. Just pick up after yourself. That's another thing. Um, Fly Lady tells a funny story in one of her books about she's a county commissioner and working with somebody who she calls BO, Born Organized, and um, asking this Born Organized lady, you know, how do you keep your house clean. And she says, Marla, the fly lady's name is Marla. She says, Marla, you just pick up after yourself. Which, you know, is something to think about. Do you go through your house creating more chaos for yourself than is necessary? Like, either procrastinating too much about changing the light bulb, or once you do get worked up to change the light bulb, putting the stairs away, dragging them back out for the window, dragging, the, putting them away again, dragging them back out again, or do you do half the job, right? So do you change the light bulb but leave the step ladder for a week sitting in your kitchen? Now you can see how wide my kitchen is. It's, uh, it's very much a galley kitchen. So if I left a step ladder in here, nobody would be able to get through or cook or clean. So that's definitely not an option in my household. <sighs> One other thing I want to mention is the Fly Lady Control Journal. Got my control journal here. I kind of keep it in the kitchen and then carry it wherever I'm going. But we have a repairman coming today. And the Fly Lady Control Journal has a section for emergency repairman phone numbers. I don't know if you can see this very well with the reflection. Emergency repairman phone numbers. You can see I have yet to fill that out yet. But as I have a repairman coming today, I think this is something that I should do today. And um, you keep the phone numbers for your cable company repairs, electric company repairs, garbage, solid waste department, gas company, phone company, water and sewage. And then there's a section for your favorite repair people for your appliances. So appliance name, I'll put washing machine and the phone number for this washing machine repair company that I'm using. And also I have a little folder at the back where I could potentially store the receipt from the work that we're doing today. So in that case, if anything failed or, you know, if in two weeks time it's still not working, I have the receipt to show Actually, I have this repair done today and, you know, I need another service. Um, you can also put your car mechanics details in here, your carpenter, electrician, plumber, wrecker, restoration company. That's in case you have a flood or a fire in your house and you need to use a restoration company. And then there's a little section here about taking 15 minutes to learn how to do certain things within your home. So for example, do you know how to turn off the water to the toilet, to the washing machine? So I had to do that for the men to come and fix the washing machine, making sure that I know where you turn the water off to that and how. The water to your bathtub, your shower, your water heater, here we call that a boiler in the UK, but do you know how to turn off the water to your boiler and to your sinks? Do you know how to turn off the water to the whole house at the street or pump? So the, the water um, gasket to turn off for our whole street is actually in front of my house. And uh, my neighbor showed me that because he had to do it. Um, so he actually showed me where it was and made sure that, you know, I knew how to do that. So I'm happy about that. But I need to also make sure my husband knows where that is and knows how to do that. Um, do you know how to turn off your electricity at the breaker box? Do you know how to turn off your natural gas or your gas in case there's an earthquake or a bad storm? I mean, in the UK, we don't really have earthquakes so much, but I used to live in Japan. We had earthquakes there. I've lived in the United States. There are earthquakes there. 
in the UK, we actually get tornadoes and hurricanes. So um, they are often don't look that dramatic, but you know, it can be really high winds, especially in Essex. We get very, very gusty winds because we're close to the coast. And also making sure that you check your smoke alarms monthly and your carbon dioxide monitors and detectors monthly. So there's the timer. But you know, put those tasks into one of your pieces of zone work. So I'm in the kitchen right now talking about this, so I'm actually gonna put test smoke detectors onto one of my tasks that I do while I'm in the kitchen zone so that we make sure that that's done. Carbon monoxide detectors. Our carbon monoxide detector has an alarm on it. So if it has any failures, it will signal to you that it's running out of battery or power. But these things still need to be checked. Do not go without checking your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide. Um, that is just an essential for running your home. So what I do with my Fly Lady Control Journal is for me, it's far more about the home journal. So you have all your numbers in there for your repairmen. You have insurance numbers for the children. You know, in case of an emergency, and you know, if the house was on fire and we had to get out very quickly, if we had to evacuate, I can grab one folder and it really has all the major details of my family and my home in it. Um, so I know how to run my home really, really well. Uh, if you haven't made a control journal yet, we could talk about that a little bit more if that's interesting for you. Again, I did not make my control journal. I downloaded it from the flylady.net website. She has a fly shop. It costs $12 to download. But what I do need to do, as you could see, is fill some parts of it in. Some parts of it I filled in really well, like my morning routine, my evening routine, my zone work. Some parts of it I've yet to really complete, like emergency numbers, um, appliance repair numbers, but I'll be working on that now and I'll share that with you as well. I hope you have a great day. I hope you get some procrastination tasks done like changing your light bulbs or filling in your control journals and see you soon, bye.